Our St. Patrick Church is really beautiful, and it's got a lot of special places for where we celebrate Sac. Uh, we have the baptism font where we celebrate baptisms. We have here where we celebrate Holy Communion, where before too long you're going to be coming up and receiving Holy Communion for the first time. And another special place we have in our church is where we celebrate the Sacrament of Recon Reconciliation, or you could call it Confession, or you could call it Penance. We all go to confessions. We all use that sacrament to tell Jesus we're sorry if we do something wrong or if we sin. And I thought I might show the boys and girls today uh, what the, the confession you know, looks like with the little place where a little nice room, it's kind of quiet, it's kind of nice, where we talk to the priest when we celebrate the sacrament of confession. So let me show you that place in our church. So uh, in our church, we have two places where we celebrate the sacrament of reconciliation. Uh, they're called confessionals. Uh, you see one right behind me here. It kind of has like uh, wooden doors and it's kind of nice looking and it's on the side. The other one, it's on the other side of the church, right there. You see it behind me, right there. Uh, and uh, these are places where uh, grown-ups and boys and girls who are old enough to understand. Uh, this is, these are places where we go when we're celebrating the sacrament of confession. Let me show you. It's got a little door. When we walk in, there's like a window and a cross, a nice picture of Jesus. There's a place to sit, and there's also a place to kneel behind a curtain. If the person who wants to go to confession wants to do so in a way where the priest can't see who it is, that's perfectly okay. But most boys and girls today, they sit in the chair and they just kind of talk face to face with the priest. And he sits in that chair right there. So when the boys and girls come, they sit in the chair over there. The priest sits over here and you just kind of talk. Um, you tell them that your first one's going to say that's really big for you. Uh, you tell them if you did anything wrong, like didn't disobey your parents or, or maybe if you told a lie or maybe if you had a fight with your brother or sister or something like that. That's, those are what sins are, right? And then he tells you maybe afterwards... Um, you know, maybe you want to pray for your mom and dad, or maybe you want to do something nice for your little brother or sister. That's called your penance. You do that after confession's all done. Then you say a nice prayer called the act of contrition. If you don't remember it, don't worry. Uh, he's got a copy of it over here. He can give it to you to read, or he can help you with it. Uh, then uh, he says a nice prayer over you that forgives all your sins. It's so easy. And when that's all done, you're done, and you can go out the door. Uh, but the confessional is just this nice little room like this where it's a sit down, it's easy. Uh, you have your chair there, or if you want to go anonymously, here's this curtain. Uh, you can kneel down over here and talk to the priest. Either way, it doesn't matter. We priests hear these confessions so many times. We priests go to confession ourselves. Um, it's kind of easy, uh, and it's kind of not that hard to do at all. And it's because you're big enough to go to confession like grown-ups do that we also know you're big enough uh, to receive your communion this year. There's so much to celebrate. Two more sacraments. You had baptism, now you're going to do your first reconciliation, and then after that you can do your first communion. What an exciting year.